of the old uh, video games. They are super into what we want to mix them in the. Ah, oh, sounds good. And how much are they normally? Euro each. Perfect. The PS4 ones are too Okay, cool. Right, so trying somewhere new today, I'm here on a tip from my milkman of all people, but I'm in an area I've never charity shop hunted before and he said there's a few decent ones here, so let's hit them and see what we can grab. Right, so we're not in the Holy Land, we're in Fingers, but there's four charity shops along a stretch here, so we're going to pop in and see what we can pick up. Ah, sounds good. And how much are they normally? Euro each. Ah, oh, lovely. Cheers. Thanks for that. The PS4 is actually Okay, cool. Thanks.
Yeah, so I mentioned it before, always tell everyone that you hunt for games. I've gotten games at 60th birthday parties, I've gotten them on Christmas Day from brothers' houses who have PlayStation games they'd never use again. But this was the milkman of all people that gave me a tip for these, so cheers Tom. He gave me a heads up on a little place that has four of them in a row. So I went out to Fingers today, got two in one, two other shops had nothing but then one of the shops we got a bag of games. So I think we got like 12 games in there for 12 euros, some really good titles, so we'll go through those in the game room when we get back. We're just gonna hit one or two of the local ones on the way home now and hopefully we can get a few more before we finish the day. Right, so we're back in the game room, straight into the pickups. That first stop I showed, that little freeze frame where I tried to show the PS1 game mixed in with all the CDs. Completely missed it at the first pass. Just grabbed a few Funkos in there to flip to add into the game fund. And when I was at the till, I just looked and seen this. So it was a copy of Apocalypse on the PS1. Complete with the manual, starring Bruce Willis, so how can you go wrong? I'm pretty sure I had this back in the day and actually really enjoyed it. I don't know if it's gonna hold up, you know, to test the time or whatever. But it's selling pretty well, like it looks like it goes for about 20 quid or more on eBay including delivery so we'll pop it in the PS1 and we'll have a go of it. So then on to Fingless, the, went to four charity shops there, one obviously really successful one which you've seen at the start, we'll get to that stuff in a second. But in, I think it was the first shop that we went into, I picked up two Xbox 360 games. Now I'm contradicting myself because in the last video I didn't pick up that Saints Row because it was 3 euro and I said 3 euro was my cutoff point and of course straight into the next video I pick up two games for 3 euro each. Well we got Batman Arkham City, actually looks pretty decent, I was looking up a bit of gameplay footage and that from it and it looks like something I'd really enjoy playing. That was fully complete, what's that note saying on the top of it there? Please return after use, thank you. So obviously this is some sort of ex-rental copy or maybe a library copy or something like that but it looks in pretty good condition so Another one for a go of, and then grabbed Tomb Raider, which looks pretty good as well, so. Three euro. I know, I know, I said I wouldn't pay that much for games, but they look like decent titles, and I'm sure they're well worth three euro, so why not? So then, in the other shop, always ask. I've been in a few charity shops before, and I've sort of just gone up and asked, have they got any video games? They just say no. A lot of the time, I bring up three or four games that I'm buying, and say, have you got more of these? And they kind of look at me a bit funny, and they're like, no, that's all we have for now, so I don't know if they tend to hold them back or not. But went into this shop, there was two Wii games mixed in with the DVDs, but I seen behind the door he had a little shelf. I always have a little look just in case, and I could see a pile of 360 stuff and a few bits in there. So just went up to the counter and asked the guy in there. He was dead sound. Went straight into the back room, said he had a pile of stuff in there. He just hadn't had the chance to put out yet. Asked him what you were going for. He said one euro each. So you couldn't be going wrong. Like we got a stack of 12 games in there. So I'll start off with what's pretty much going to be the trade fodder. Um, Apologies to any UFC game fans out there. If someone wants them, let me know. You can have them. But we'll get a few quid back and trade for these. Between these three, I think we should pretty much get back the 12 quid and keep the rest for free. So just plain old UFC, UFC 2, and UFC 3. All on the Xbox One. I don't know if I actually checked these for... Yeah, that these are all pretty nice condition. That one looks like it's never been played. So we should have no better trading those in. So that was a great start. Uh, another one we probably will trade in actually, because I don't have an Xbox One, let alone gonna get an Xbox One to play sports titles. But we got a copy of 2K21 NBA. That's another one that's gonna trade pretty well. Then one for the collection, we got this special edition of GTA 5. Now this is pretty class. It has the, the sort of the cardboard cover and it comes with the steelbook, which is really nice. The two discs in there were absolutely perfect as well. I actually have, I wasn't sure if I had this on the 360. I had a look on the shelf and I couldn't find it. But when I had to read through the drawer of shite down there, I found the two discs for it for the 360. So the only thing this is missing is there's like a map that comes with it. 
So I have a copy of this on the PlayStation 4, which comes with a map. So we could kind of complete it that way if we want, but I'm pretty sure we'll come across another copy of it someday, or at least a copy of the regular version with the map in it, and we can complete this special edition and keep that one and trade the other one off. Then I also grabbed in there, there was a copy of LA Noir. I picked this up probably back in like the third or fourth game hunting video, and I had I think I had two discs, and I didn't realize it was a three disc one at the time. I've seen it a few times since, and it always seems to be missing the same disc that the first one I had was missing, so I've never been able to complete it. But this one was fully complete. Really nice condition, beautiful manual. All three discs were there, and all three discs were in absolutely perfect condition. So, delighted to have that one for the collection. We'll have to have a go with that. Then we grabbed another Call of Duty, but this is World at War. One that we don't have, but again, another really good trader. So, I'm not going to show gameplay footage for all these. I'll probably do it for a few of them. I might just pop up a little pop up of what these are going for in CX, just to give you a rough idea of what you can get back with them or what you can get in trade for them. Grab another complete game, Battlefield Bad Company 2 copy of Brutal Legend. I do have this already, but I've heard this is a class game, so this one was, again, just in perfect condition, so we'll keep this one for my collection, and I'll probably trade up with the one that we have there. Then, just two whatever games. PBC World Championship Darts Pro Tour. Again, going back to the last video, will we play it? Probably not, but for a euro, it'll sit on the shelf. 2010 FIFA World Cup South Africa. Get your Vuvuzelas out. <laughs> flashbacks to that then we grabbed one more actually this was a copy of skate 2 does it have the manual no there's no manual with it but this is a pretty valuable game this goes for about 20 quid i think and as far as i know it was recently added to, i don't know how recent but i know it's one of the more recent ones to be added to the backwards compatibility list so that one's probably gonna be a popular one so we'll keep that for the collection then just on the way home from Fingless, we just stopped by a couple of the local ones. There was nothing in the first shop, but grabbed a few bits in the last one. A copy of this Civilization Revolution. Don't know much about it. Don't know if it's true to the original Civilization games or if it's more like, um, you know, the sort of mobile-based strategy games nowadays. I'm not sure if it's in that vein. It's hard to tell from looking at it, but we'll, we'll have a little go with it at some stage. A copy of Far Cry 4. We have a couple of Far Cry games, but didn't have this one. So for two euro, we'll give it a shot. And again, this one is complete as well, which is always nice. And then I said no to it in the last one. I know I, <laughs> I know I quoted it earlier on when I said about the two three euro games, but we were justified in not paying three euro for that Saints Row in the last video because we picked it up in this shop and it was one euro. Now there's no manual in this, unfortunately, but the disc is pretty nice. So we might find another one for a euro or so down the road, but happy enough to pay a euro for that and have a go of it. And then, I don't know, I can't believe I'm leaving this to last, but while we were in there, I picked up a copy of Grease and Blu-ray. This is not for the Blu-ray collection. I don't really have much of a Blu-ray collection. I have stuff downstairs. It's just if I see any kind of odd sci-fi or anything like that, I like to pick it up. But this is sealed. CEX sell it for about a tenner. And I think they give six quid in trades, so I could probably pop it up on eBay and maybe get 10, 12 quid for it. But with fees and stuff, it's probably not worth it. So for six euro easy trade credit, we'll triple up on that. So we've built up a nice pile of trade credit. I actually have... I must have about 50 games at the moment waiting to go up to CX. I really need to go up there and start getting some stuff traded in. Um, other than that, what have we got? Housekeeping. Oh, I did my. I got my monthly subscription box from the Retro Gaming Store. I actually did that video over on TikTok. I think I shared it on Instagram as well. It went down really well over there. So if you want to see a quick 40 second, 45 second video of me unboxing that, have a look on one of those platforms. But really nice box again this month. A copy of this old new Retro Gamer magazine. Turned out there was a bit of a team to this box, as you can see, with the micro machines on the front. We got a few games. Actually, what he did send me out, do I have it here? Uh, no, it's up here on the shelf. It's a original three-button Mega Drive controller, so that's class to go with the Mega Drive that we picked up recently. But then three Mega Drive games. This one is fully complete. PGA Tour Golf. Mega Games 1. And then the absolute banger of the pile. I actually popped this in straight away and I was at it for about an hour after I got it. But a copy of Micro Machines 2 Turbo Tournament. So there were some class Mega Drive games. A couple of odd ones then. He knows I like the odd weird Wii games. So just a cheapie. But the Ultimate Red Ball Challenge. Fully complete. And then Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. Which we don't have. This is in really nice condition. And it comes with like the... Oh, it's hard to tell. It's like the map but it's on like some sort of special paper or something like that. But yeah, really nice stuff to add for the collection there as well. And was there anything else? No, that was it for the pickups. Actually, no, we picked up three more 
three more PS4 games. A shout out to Be Kind Rewind Retro on Instagram. He gave me the heads up on these. GameStop have been having a summer sale lately and there's different stuff popping up now and then. But he kind of pointed me towards these three titles. So we got Fate of Silence, Darksiders Genesis, and Where the Heart Leads. These were all under five euro region. They were all 4.97 or something like that. So less than 15 euro. So as you do, we bought them all twice. Uh, last time I checked, you could trade these three games alone back into CEX and get 30 euro. So that would pay for that whole lot. And you get to keep the three games for free as well. I'm probably not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is, for the first time, I think we're going to do a little giveaway. So if you're watching this far, first of all, thank you because you're in the rare 20, 25% that get towards the end of the videos. But as a reward for sticking with the video, I'm going to give the three of these away. So if you want these three games, just put a comment down below saying you want these PlayStation 4 games and I'll do a little draw. Even if only one person enters, one person will get them. So put a comment in, you never know. But one lucky person will get these games. So hopefully you get to play them, enjoy them, flip them, trade them. I don't care what you do with them, but enter below for your chance to have them. So yeah, that's it. I think I've covered everything in this one. Hopefully it won't be as long till the next one. Just life has been crazy lately. We've been trying to get out where we can, but I think I do have a few hunting days coming up. So fingers crossed won't be as long to wait till the next one. But thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching till the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Actually, don't miss the next one. There's going to be a serious, serious giveaway in that one. I'm going to point towards a little clue here of what you might be giving away. But uh, not Zelda. The one beside it. So yeah, uh, cheers. Look after yourselves and we'll see you soon, okay?